Yeah, I have been one of those guys that has cheated on a partner before and <sighs> not my type, but I was like, she's not ugly. You have got blonde hair. Oh, man. You can look. The other week, we're calling Melissa unattractive. Hang on. After you had slept yeah, with yeah, her. Hang on, here we go. Let's clarify this. Hey, Liz, out of everyone, did I put you fourth? Fourth, wow, what a champion. Melissa's not enjoying this. You know, Bryce is trying to justify mm -hmm. that she's got my back, but she looks really uncomfortable. Embarrassed. I think she'd rather just go under the radar. She put me first. Did she? That's yeah. a surprise. It's disgusting. What's he going to do, throw a bottle of wine like that she a couple of years ago? Like, <laughs> mate, he's just a follower. So I said. Both years. You've got the personality of a doormat, and that's an insult to doormats. And I apologise to doormats. Let him go, let him go. I do it. No, no, I apologise to doormats. Sam, no, that's not the table. No. But I'm worried about you, mate. Sam, I'm worried about you. Stick in your Stick in your big nose, you know, everyone else. Shut up! You're an absolute embarrassment. <laughs> Would I go up to list? Probably not. We work out that one little feature is missing. What feature is missing? What oh, are we talking eyes. about? Yeah, blue eyes. Daring smack back into those eyes, and uh, they're not that bad after all. You actually have really nice eyes. Oh, thank you. Put girls in the colour. <laughs> It was good until then. Past relationship to continue to prevent me from moving forward in my 20s. My ex and I never, ever got back together. However, over the years, he's remained a friend. And we've been intimate. How long did that actually go for? Up until a year ago. So for 12 years, you've kept him there? Think. But you mentioned a girl. Mate, sorry I met a girl on Tinder two months before coming here and slept with her a couple of times. Yeah. It's because you deserve to say it. No, no I'll, let, I'll let the f puppet here, here go. Wow. Oi, oi. Do not speak to not only my wife, but any other female with language like that. The heated argument that you got into several times with Sam, which really, I mean, we haven't seen something quite so personal the way that you two went at each other. And we're kind of pretty keen to know what it was that wound you up so much, that triggered you so much. It's just stemmed from day one or night one, to be honest with you. Tell me more. So, obviously, I was first into the, the Bucks party. Sam came in second. The first words that came out of his mouth was, hey, mate, nice to meet you. Oh, you look really nervous. Are you nervous? Like, <laughs> my line of work, you can't afford to be nervous, otherwise you haven't got a job. So I took that as, here we go, ego versus ego. I'm trying to be the bigger ego. There's other things that happen in the, around the apartments since we're back. Comments being thrown around. So, that's kind of... Have you noticed we're in a palace up there by ourselves? A palace? A palace? Wow. I apologise to the whole group. That someone's playing mind games with my wife. Is that what you want to hear? Like all of you guys in the experiment will do. Oh. 
say you defend her, but you drag her through the mud. Now you get up to do an apology and you put a snide comment in there. Just but say not. sorry, bro. Just say, hey, I apologize. I got aggressive last night and I'm sorry. Apologize for what? Tell us. Like, what? For last night. Why don't you apologize? You apologized to us all at the table last night. You know what, mate? We have all given up on, on trying to get through to you. Hey, I'll crown you the king of the experiment. No, get the f That's what back up. That's that? who you are. You're the king of the experiment. And you are the queen. You know what? You're Don't the queen. Yuck! That's disgusting! Bryce, how dare you do that, mate?